Hi everyone, it's me again, Audrey. If you remember me from our last meeting, I introduced myself and told you that I am currently residing here at Quezon City, but I was born and raised at my uh, hometown, San Fernando City, Pampanga. Both of my parents are pure Kapampangan. As I remember when I was still young, uh, the most memorable experience I had on tourism was when my parents and I rode the Kalesa near our public market. It was very scary at first because uh, the horse carriage was difficult to climb and of course it was my first time seeing a horse and I even got to ride it. But as I got older, there are so many fun and, and exciting attractions and activities to do here in Pampanga that didn't even exist when I was still young such as the famous Sky Ranch in Etam Pampanga uh, the Sandbox Aqua Planet and Go-Karting in, in Clark The name of my hometown Pampanga came from the word Pampang or meaning uh, riverbank it was founded and named by the Spanish conquistador Martin de Goiti in 1571, making it as the first province in Luzon. The La Pampanga was given because of the Spaniards saw and encountered the natives living along the banks or Pampang of the Pampanga River. What makes Pampanga unique from others is its festival. Pampanga is known for its two famous festivals. First is the Giant Lantern Festival, locally known as Ligligang Parol. Uh, it is held every month of December in my hometown, San Fernando City. Uh, when, it, when the Christmas season comes, uh, there are co many colorful lanterns displayed everywhere. The second one is the Hot Air Balloon Festival uh, held in Lubao or in Clark every month of February or March. But in this year, uh, it will be celebrated on the 10th and 11th of June. It is one of the most uh, uh, attended and highly anticipated festivals here in Pampanga. Aside from its attractions and festivals, it is not only why Pampanga is known for. When it comes to food, you won't get disappointed because Pampanga is the culinary capital of the Philippines. Every woman in my family knows how to cook. My grandmothers and aunts had this small uh, store or restaurant in front of our, our compound. They sell aroscado, afternoon snack or merienda, and home-cooked meals every lunchtime. I was immersed by the heart and skills of Kapampangan, where my sister and I got to observe them cooking and sometimes help them. The most spoken dialect in Pampanga is known as Kapampangan. It is also how people are called here in Pampanga. To give you a sample of the Kapampangan language, iniin ka na kong kera gulang baleng syudad ning San Fernando. Sana mamasyal kayo Kenny at maranasan niyo alwa mo ing masanting na lugar ngune pati ing manyaman apamangan Kenny. In English, and that is my hometown San Fernando City, Pampanga. I hope you could also go here and enjoy the wonderful attractions and the food we have here. Thank you very much for listening.